Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Brownie. Okay. I've uh, been unboxing this Mac Pro for a little while now. I kind of had a boring lull there. Uh, had to remove one of the hard drives from my old PC to install into the Mac Pro. Uh, I've already got two drives, and uh, they are labeled as such. One, two, this is three. This is where three is going to go. I've got the bracket in my hand, and four. Uh, and I noted when I was unboxing the Mac Pro, the lack of cables inside the Mac Pro case. Elegant. And if you've ever been inside a PC case, you know what I'm talking about. That means good airflow, nothing in the way. So hopefully I can stay as cool as possible. And of course I need as, as much cool air as I can get with an NVIDIA 8800 GT card in there. Uh, so it's, it's simple. There's no cables to string from the SATA drives to the Mac Pro motherboard. Uh, it just, this, this little fastener pops out. You screw it into the hard drive, which is what I'm about to do right now, and then, or I guess you screw the hard drive into this, and then slide her back in, pop her in, make sure she's plugged in and good to go, and that's it. That's, that's really all you need to do. Now, some of you guys may be asking, yeah, but Chris, what about eSATA? Well, the beauty of eSATA is you can plug in an external SATA drive, you know, in some kind of enclosure, hopefully, uh, and then use it at the same speed as you would an internal SATA drive. Uh, well, uh, the good news is, is that Apple does have a couple of open SATA connections on the motherboard. The bad news is, however, for me to install the uh, cables to connect what would be um, this, um, which would take up a you know PCI Express slot on the back to plug in eSATA drives, I would have to un unhook and unscrew and take things apart in order to get back to a certain section on the motherboard at least according to the people who sold me that particular cable. So I thought, is it really worth doing? Do I need eSATA that much? Well, I've had eSATA ports on the back of my PCs for a couple of revisions, and you know what? I've yet to use them. Uh, so I don't know if it's really worth it for me to go through and install that. Let me see if I can even tell. I've got a low light there. Hang on. Another thing, I gotta keep my batteries charged. It would be helpful, wouldn't it? Oh, there we go. That's nice and bright. Beep. See if I can even see the connections up there. I don't know. It looks like it's power. Yeah, they really buried it back there. Which doesn't really make any sense to me. I'm not sure why they would leave two open connections right there on the motherboard and not give you easy access. They thought about everything else. Oh, someone just messed up, I think, a couple of details. Which, again, doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. I do see a little bit of dust and debris in there. So we're going to get some uh, air. Before I go any further, I should have done this. It really wasn't touching anything inside the case, but I'm going to put on my anti-static strap. This one costs, just go to your local electronics store. They've got one of these things for a couple bucks. Just connect, or just like clamp one end of it onto some piece of metal so that you remain grounded. Touch a piece of metal if you feel like you're not grounded enough and you'll be good to go. Okay. Yeah, because I needed to dust out a new machine. Well, you never know. Alright. Got a lot of dust around here. Dang. Okay. So, got my anti-static wrist strap. Now I can fondle my hard drive to my heart's content. Not funnel it too much. See if I've got the right size screwdriver. Getting one of these things, a precision screwdriver kit, is is quite recommended. This is something that uh, you know. Once I once I got one of these, it's just I'm sorry. It's a full kit, 17 pieces. So that way I can use instead of stripping a screw, I can get the exact size for the screw. Let me tell you. Those are quite small. Oh, not too tight though, so it should be relatively easy to... Oh, even nicer? This is, the, I, I'm, not, I'm not kidding. These screws don't unscrew. So you literally set it on the drive and then screw it in from there. So there's no way you could lose these screws. Just keep, hover over the holes. Get it right on there. You don't want to screw down all the way. You just want to screw down just, just enough to get the thread in place and then go back over them one by one. 
and there's really only one way you can put this bracket on. So there's no way you can screw this up. No cables to lose, no screws to lose. You want it to be tight, but you don't want it to be too tight because you never know when you're going to want to remove this hard drive to exchange it for another one. And I tell you, the process is simple. If you ever had to wrangle with a drive cage, oh god. You know what I'm talking about, right guys? You know what I'm talking about, right? I'm going to put it on this piece of metal instead. It'll be a little easier from where I'm working at. Oops. You definitely do not want to strip these things. So, if you don't already have a precision kit, get one. They're cheap. Well, apparently I do need to find a different piece of metal. Alright. I think it's just, i got to fasten it a little tighter here. Okay. So now, we've got her screwed on. She's fastened. She's tight. There is no debris in the back. Should be able to just slide her back in there. Testing. Oh, sorry, that's loud. Sorry, sorry. We can hear you. We can hear you. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Uh, plan B. Always have backup. I I accidentally kicked the keyboard there. The keyboard that I I placed on the floor. I kicked it, and when I did, everything went to hell. So I apologize for the intermittent popping, but thank you for bearing with me through this live video. I will now return to shoving this thing back in place. That's it. flush. That's it. Uh-oh. I got a Hitachi Desk Star. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, indeed. Well, they're all SATA. The second one, Apple HDD Firmware 2007, manufactured January 2008. I'm putting a Western Digital Caviar SE16 500 gig drive in as the third drive. Um, well, I'm hoping I won't have any issues. I shouldn't. They're just hard drives, right? And I guess that's all it takes to install a new hard drive or remove a hard drive inside a Mac Pro. And I guarantee the next time you open up your PC's case to do the same thing, you're going to wish you had a Mac or at least engineers who understand this is a heck of a lot nicer than what you might find in t typical PC cases. So, okay, uh, I'm going to stop the video. I know everyone's like, oh, the audio quality is wonky. Hopefully the video recording will turn out fine. If not, oh well, you guys tuned in live. We're good to go. So now we're going to move on to installing the RAM 16 gigs in a Mac Pro.